Hey guys, Mike here at Mr. Troils, and welcome back to a new video. All right, today we're going to address a subscriber request, and the question that I got actually from multiple people is to explain the Mental Ray Shader MIA Material X presets. Okay, so what is that? Well, if you take one of these objects here, and I got 18 set up because you've got 18 different presets. If I select this guy, and I right click and go to Assign New Material and I type in MIA, I can select MIA underscore material underscore X, right? Now I want to select that and I go into my attribute editor. I got my material tab and I got a button for presets. And when I go through this list, I have chrome, copper, frosted glass, glass physical, glass solid, glass thick, glass thin, glaze ceramic, glossy finish, glossy plastic, Matte finish, matte plastic, pearl finish, rubber, satin metal, uh, translucent plastic film, light blur, and translucent plastic film. Uh, no idea how to pronounce that. Opalescent and water. Okay. Now, besides these presets, you can uh, all adjust these settings on them as well. I can select a chrome and decide that I want to do a blend, okay? So by selecting the blend, I'll have a slightly different preset. With this video, we're gonna go with the standard. So we're just gonna hit replace. In this case, because it's the last one, I'm gonna select this one. And if you look at the sequence, how we set these up, the first one here is the top of the row, second, third, fourth, and this one is the fifth and so forth. So we go from left to right and from back to front. Okay, so you'll have a reference once this is rendered out. As far as the scene is concerned, I got a ground plane. I applied a Fong E material to it in black. I got three area lights going on, and only the one up front here is casting ray trace shadows. The other two are not, and I do not have any other light going on or image based lighting or something like that. Okay. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to render these out. So you will have a reference of, um, you know, what each preset is. And that said, you can use MIA Material X to pretty much create any type of material you want. Uh, so feel free to try these out, tweak the settings. Uh, you don't have to use the preset. You can change, you know, reflectivity and so forth. So uh, I'm going to pause the video, render this out and uh, you'll see the result in a sec. And before we do that, let's have a look at the render settings, okay? So obviously I'm gonna select Mental Ray because it's a Mental Ray material. I'm gonna go to my Common tab. The size of the image, AT1080, HD1080, sorry. The quality, I bumped that up to about 1.5 and that at one. Uh, let's see, what else? I... Um, selected advanced settings up here so i can go to the um where is it the global illumination setting that i want to use okay in the scene itself nothing going on there so that's pretty much it okay so i'm going to pause the video render this out and see you guys in a sec all right guys well there you have it there's our final render and uh, as you can see it turned out okay now, just as a reminder, you can change the settings in the presets. For example, this gray material here, the rubber, uh, default color is gray, but if you want to have black rubber, you can change the color. If you want to have the copper darker, or you want to have you know, a red or blue kind of uh, setting metal, that's all uh, doable, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this image on my website and the link to my website, you can find that below and I'll list all the names of the different materials so you can use this as a reference. And uh, that's it, that's it. This is the, uh, you know, the end of the tutorial. If you got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again, bye.